I understand, of course, David, there's no question of our opposing this scheme to cancel Trident. Oh, of course. No, it's just a question of holding back a little until we've thought through all the implications. Mm. So tell me, what are you going to brief your man at employment to say in OPD tomorrow? Well, what are the others saying? I suppose Dick will brief the Foreign Secretary to say the Americans will hit the roof. Well, no. He thinks it might be more persuasive to argue that cancelling Trident will look like weakness, appeasing the Soviets, you know. Yeah, that's good thinking. Just as Norman won't be telling his man at defence to say that the service chiefs won't have their elite forces diluted with riffraff. <laughs> but they won't. No, oh, I know that, but he felt they needed another argument. Two? <laughs> two arguments? Isn't that putting rather a strain on the Defence Secretary's somewhat, um... Obsolete intellectual equipment? Yes. <laughs> so he's just going to brief him that Trident is best and Britain must have the best. Oh, good. <laughs> Even the Defence Secretary should be able to handle that. Yes. <laughs> With a bit of coaching, yes. <laughs> and Giles, I know the National Union of Teachers are scared stiff that conscription will expose the fact that school leavers Oh, while, of course, being tremendously integrated socially and creatively aware... Can't actually read, write or do sums, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Charles has got the education secretary worried that the colleges for further education will be taken over by the services and actually used for teaching people. <laughs> we can't have that. Uh, <laughs> so what about your man at employment? Oh, it's the same problem. You see, the truth is the unions won't stand for kids coming in and undercutting them on community work. Yes. I don't think we need to bring the truth in at this stage. <laughs> Hold on. Now, suppose he argues that unemployed young people are, at the moment, uh, unfit, unorganised, undisciplined and untrained, but that conscription will eventually release onto the streets an army of fit young people all trained to kill. Good man. <laughs> Tell me, does he actually believe that? He will, by tomorrow morning. <laughs> 